Anjuli Caron on the marimba. Anjuli is recognized by the masters in this field as one of the most talented people in her generation, Anjuli Caron. I'm very happy uh, to attend to uh, Idea City. It has been so inspiring for me since I got here. And I'm also very happy to come here because when I meet people and I tell them what I'm doing, I play Mariam, but they are always like... <laughs> hmm? So I always have to say, oh, I play some kind of, you know, a big xylophone. <laughs> but I don't really like to say that. So now I really show you my instrument. And I can also talk about it, which I can't really do in a formal concert, which uh, I'm very happy. So I don't know if you're expecting to uh, listen to traditional music or folkloric music. If yes, you might be surprised. Uh, yes, the instrument uh, is often associated to its origin, which I'm going to talk a little bit later. But uh, now in North America, we really, and in Europe, Japan, around the world, finally, we really play it as a classical instrument. And th this is really my goal, to be recognized in this instrument and to be taken as seriously as any other musician. The instrument is from Africa. It started with two big branches of wood that they would dig in the ground, and then they would put the bars suspended with a rope that they would tie around the branches, and they would dig a hole in the ground to create projection, so it started like that, and then around the 16th century, uh, with, the slaveries, uh, with the slaves, it came in America, and it became very popular in uh, Guatemala and Mexico. Then it evolved and evolved, and then that's what it is now. So a lot of people ask me, how did I end up playing the instrument? Because it's not an instrument that we see very often. Uh, Actually, there are uh, way more than we think in Canada. Uh, I discovered it during high school because I, w I wanted to play drum set. I was playing drum set, but my parents didn't want to buy me a drum set because it was too expensive and too loud. So this, this is quite loud, actually. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> So uh, I heard about the conservatory. At that time, it was free, and it was uh, possible to practice on the instruments there. So I thought there would be drum set there, but there was no drum set. Once I was accepted, uh, I realized that it was all classical percussion to play in an orchestra behind, you know, like the snare drum, the four timpanis, uh, all the percussion. Um, so I was very disappointed at the beginning, but uh, finally uh, I discovered this instrument that everybody has to play when they are studying in classical percussion. So for me it was very special because I played piano for a long time before, so since it's a keyboard instrument, you have the black keys and the white keys, it is very familiar to me. And to play four mallets, uh, increased the possibilities, so I could play piano pieces on the instrument. So it is really nice to be able to accompany myself. Why I chose to do music for a living? Uh, it's because I want to give something to people. It would be easy to, stay on, to, to think that I'm playing on stage is just thinking about having fun for myself, but I really want to think that I'm giving something. It's very important because if we took out the music and the art, the arts in general in our society, it would be really pathetic, I think. And um, I hope to bring people in a new world and just playing an unusual instrument is some, already an ed educational mission. So just that, it's a, for me, it's a good goal, but also to bring people in a sensitive world outside of their daily life the, so this is really my, my goal. So the piece, I'm going to play the transcription, a guitar piece from Astar Piazzolla. It's a movement from a whole piece, it's called Cinco Piazza, but the, the movement I'm going to play is called Romantico. Mm -hmm. 